Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of The Duelist. So it is almost the end of the month and if we go into a... where are we here? Uh, command Center. We've got a one skull duel that we can do. Single duel right here. We've got a duo duel too, but it's for Jade Falcon and it's also going to be um, not there in a couple of days because it is the end of the month. But we're going to go ahead and take the single uh, solo duel. And this is against, um, uh, apparently it's Clan Wolf, which I don't really like, but we're going to do it because we need to do the duels. So let's just negotiate this. Hmm. I think we go full. Yeah, we'll just go full. Why not? Kind of concerned that it's, ah, we'll see what happens. I mean, you never know what kind of mech you're going to get, right? So let's just get in here and accessing pilot records here we go so let's clear you out so load clear apply and then we'll load the hatchman in actually before we go let's you know what yeah let's spend our points um I, we do have enough skill points for our main pilot uh so let's go to the barracks you know i was considering before the episode started about like saving them up and st sticking with guts but i'm thinking like i I'm kind of up and down on what I want to choose. So gunnery is actually not bad. The improved call shot modifier minus recall is actually kind of pretty good. Um, I think that's what we're going to go with. But I was at a toss-up between that and um, I believe it was cautious down here, which allows us to remove a bar of stability every time we reserve. Which wouldn't be bad either if we were like up against an opponent that was constantly make us, making us unstable. Because then we could just reserve back till our stability's gone and then move in for a full melee strike rather than having to worry about, you know, dropping stability or whatever every turn. But I think being able to do pinpoint strikes a little bit better, I think is probably going to be the better bet. So let's just choose gunnery. And we'll... Like, I mean, I know we're doing melee. You know what? Like, I'm so... Tempted... I just don't under, I just don't know how much stability damage we're going to be taking because I've never gone through a play like playthrough like this. I mean, max sight sensor range isn't bad either. Because later on, I'm sure we're going to be encountering a lot of stealth mechs and stuff, um, and that will definitely help out. You know what? Let's just let's just go gunnery. We'll go focus fire for the improved called shot. Yeah, why not? Sure. All right, now we can go. Training confirmed, Commander. It's such a hard... Um, ch for me, it was a hard choice between those two. Like, and not knowing, like, this is the first time I've just done duels, so... Um, I generally don't take that that many duels. I think ever since I met up with that Clint Eastwood mech, it was like a one-skull duel. This was back in the... On the I think it was the Treadnought version of, uh, of Rogue Tech, like, just... or. Just the version before this one, um, we ended up picking up a uh, 40 ton Clint Eastwood mech with the, uh, I think it was the Rack 10 on it or something like that. I think it was a Rack 10. It might have been a Rack 20, but I think it was a Rack 10. And he just wrecked me. Um, ever since that, I've kind of shied away. Oh, and by the way, um, you'll notice I fixed uh, the word vengeance <laughs> in both the unit uh, name and the pilot name. Yeah, I did spell it wrong. I'm horrible at spelling. It's just one of the things that I, I've got a problem with. So um, let's go ahead and deploy here. Yeah, someone pointed it out, I think, back on the first episode. Command interface initiated. Well, here we go again. I guess, I mean, it's the kind of planet that we're on. We're just kind of stuck with this uh, particular map. Unfortunately, we'll just have to deal with it, I guess. Um, yeah. No idea what we're up against, but we're gonna do the same thing we always do. Let's go up this side. We can stay hidden. On my way. Hoping we can pick up a bigger core at some point too. That would be definitely helpful. Oh, what do we got here? A pack hunter. Well, and looks like I mean I just updated. Looks like he's missing the weapon in his shoulder. Um. Okay. Yep, he man. might be missing the weapon, or he might not be. Oops. Sprint it a little faster. Let's get up here. Got it, Commander. Okay. 
All right, we're going to do the same thing. I think we're going to make our way up and try and get to a point. Hopefully he doesn't see us. That we can uh, be really close to him and engage him. All right, so the the change in this mech, I don't know. It's like, so it's been a while since I recorded. It's been like five days or something like that or more since I recorded. Uh, I'm going to wind this to six. Um, so we did we did make a couple minor changes. I got the Ultra 2 in here now. Um, and a medium pulse laser. I traded off for this stuff. So, um, so we've got these guys in here now. Or at least the Clan Ultra 2. We traded off for. I, be I believe we did. It was the trade we did. Um, a lot of people are saying that... Um, there we go. Sorry, a lot of people are saying that I shouldn't worry too much about salvage. And I, you know, I kind of think they're right. I'm going to try and right. stick with the salvage that we get off of the missions with these guys just to try and stay as true as possible. But then, you know, you know, we'll trade stuff back and forth. I'm not going to worry too, too much about it. Like the other group has got, the Royals have got a set of claws that I'm kind of interested in. Okay, so I think he knows I'm here. Um, hmm. I think this side's probably a little closer. Okay. Let's see what he does. Nothing. Commander? So we could jump up and get the height advantage. We don't have the ability to melee. However, if I move in, I don't have to jump down again, and we can get a chance to melee him next turn. Let's get in from this side. Going full throttle. I want to try and get that big weapon. So did it render in? It did. Okay. Um, that's actually a really great chance to hit, and I think this is where the uh, OP could come into play. See if we can grab. We're gonna try and grab the leg. It's got an ER, clan ERPPC, so not so bad. Cry havoc. Although it would be nice to pick that up. Just having a quick look here. I thought we traded, um... Did we not have... Oh, it was a Hollander. I, I, I thought we traded Pack Hunter parts. But it wasn't... A Pack Hunter, it was a Hollander. Hey, buddy, guess what I got? I got jump jets. Ultra 2 is not going to hit, and that's a lot of heat. Um, I think these machine guys are putting out a fair bit as well. Let's just go with the pulse laser. Target confirmed. All right. It's always the... The, the uh, bad thing about being this close is the fact that he can um, get behind me, right? Um, yeah. Now, uh, can we not melee him? Are we... Wait a minute. Is he somehow on some rocks that I can't get to? He is. And I bet you any money he will run up over here. Ah, uh, crap. He's going to try and get a back shot on me again. That'll give it to him. That, well, I mean, that might give it to him. If he's able to come down around here. But he might be able to get up there too, in which case that would give it to him. That's probably a little safer. We don't drop our instability that way though, but... Um, 
want salvage, man. But I gotta survive to get salvage, so... Let's just hammer him, and then next turn we'll try and drop heat. Target in for an alpha. Oh, that was terrible. All right, we finally got to expose his leg. Yeah, fuck, I knew it. Okay, he missed. Nice. And he goes again. Okay, he is behind me, but he's he's also dropping heat too. So waiting for orders. Let's, um, I'm just going to move like this. Location confirmed. It's going to give him a better chance to hit me, but I drop instability. I'm in the trees. I drop my heat. I brace. Should be okay, I think. I don't know where he's going. Yes, Commander. Alright, let's get around this way. We're gonna go chase him. Gonna go chase him. We're on fire now, too. Hooray for that. Okay, I don't think he's... I wonder what he's... I, mean, I know he's trying to shield his side. Okay, that should block the walkway down, so he shouldn't be able to get behind me here. Okay, drops the heat. Oof. That's a lot of damage. I'm receiving you. God, it's such a terrible chance to hit. We gotta take it. Hopefully, we get a couple leg hits here, but let's just see what happens. Firing all weapons. Okay, we got a few hits in the leg. Like some heavy damage. It's all coming down to speed. We need a bigger, like a bigger core in this thing if it's gonna be successful. I need to shoot me in the back. Jesus. I think that was an armor or leg hit. Well. Commander. At least he's giving me the option to try and end this. Oops, no. We want to click on him. We want to click here. We want to click kick. And hopefully we kick that leg off. Let's just see what happens. Put my weight into it. Nope. Why would we hit that leg? Well, we shot it off anyway. I don't know what the hell we kicked there. I thought it was I thought the kicks were guaranteed to hit a leg. I mean I know in Battletech tabletop rules that's what happens. When you kick you hit you're you're kicking a leg. I'm ready. Now, do we try and shoot the other leg off or do we just um Can't use a weapon on him? We maybe we may have kicked his other leg. Maybe that's what happened because we did fifty something damage, I think. So let's go with the kick again, and it doesn't let us choose where, I guess. So he's not going to be able to move very far. I'm going to back up. Confirmed. Because he might still try and get behind me if he gets up. If he gets up. And we're going to go after the leg. All weapons are go. Goes to the torso. Well, at least we saved the... Uh... Oh, did the pilot Target get unconscious? Oh, he's on... I guess so. Alright, fair enough. Mission successful. So we're not going to be getting any engine off of him. 100 grand, that should easily cover our repairs, I think. Now, we didn't lose any components, thank goodness. Could have been bad, though, that first hit. I was busy looking at my uh, my list of components that I had, because I thought, I thought it was a, um, a pack hunter that we fought last time, but it was a Hollander. They look very similar. 
Um, but yeah, that was a uh, that could have been really bad. I'm glad we have a lot of armor in the front, though. Holy crap! PPC is terrifying. Does so much damage. Okay, Clan XL. I think that's a no-brainer. I think we take the Clan XL. I mean, the XL gyro is nice, but we've already got one. ER PPC is nice, but we're trying to go melee, and this is just going to superheat us. And um, I would rather go with an auto cannon. That's a lot. I mean, it's it's heavier, but it's also um, a lot cooler. Don't have to worry about overheating like we are right now. So let's go with this. If we get the ER PPC, great. If we don't, we don't. But I think the XL is probably a good choice. All right, two pack hunter parts. We can trade those off to the other guys. Cockpit clan, which is okay. I think we have the SLDF cockpit, which is which gives us piloting and tactics, which I think I want to keep because I think I want to keep that like um, keep my sensors and my ability to not get knocked over or get up easier a little higher. Clan uh, heat sink kit, which is awesome, and clan sensors because we do need sensors, so that's great. All right, 24,000, not too bad. So we made about, what, 80 grand, which is pretty good. Now, we're going to wait the one day. I do have a mission picked out for the Royals before the end of the month. It'll be nice if they can actually pull one off. So let's just do the one day to see our... Oh, oh we didn't get a uh, an event. That was interesting. I thought we would have got an event for the pilot, but I guess maybe because the pilot was incapacitated, maybe he was killed. I don't know. That's interesting. It was a clan pilot. It was clan wolf, so not exactly sure what happened there. But uh, yeah, so that'll be it. Uh, let's go to the mech bay real quick. So I think um, when we get the uh, hatchetman back, which we'll have back for next episode, and well, the specter's uh, the specter is back now, right now too. So um, we'll at least have a second mech here. We have a quick look at the uh, refit on this guy. Now I do have a two-ton mace, ER medium laser, clan ER small, a 175 core, ferrofibrous and four jump jets, plus what we picked up today, which usually isn't a lot, and clan double heat sink kit, but this one's already got a royal kit, so I don't have to worry about that. That's kind of really nice. Um, so we can probably work on this guy, and it's got the sheath beacon in it and everything. So we got two stealth mechs for duels, for dual duo duels. So we'll get this guy up and running at some point. He's that's actually not bad. He's got three laser hard points a, and a pair of ballistics. So there could be machine guns in there um, or something. So I'll figure out what I'm going to do with this guy for build. Um, we do have. I don't know. Actually, let me just double check this. We do have. Oops, weapon. Uh, we do have the mace. I'm wondering it won't be listed there. It'll be listed here where I was before. So the mace, do you need to have two hands free? We don't. We need to have a uh, that's a lower arm though. Shat. We need to get a hand. I don't know if it'll work on this mech though. I don't, I'm not sure that the uh, Omnipod arm will work on this mech because it's not really an Omni mech so it may not work at all. But that's fine. I mean, if we can't use the mace on this guy, we'll figure it out. Maybe we trade the mace for the claws and put the claws on this guy instead. I tried putting the mace on the uh, the hunchback as well, but uh, no no hand actuator. So we can it has to be a hand actuator. So we can put it on that side. So at least it gives us a bit of melee damage. Increases punch, but. Reduce actually for physical melee attacks. So if you've got like a um, like a hatchet or a sword or something, the physical attack is minus one to hit, but punching and stuff goes up, which is nice. So this mech's going to be our puncher. But yeah, we're going to leave that for the next episode. I'm going to try and figure out a build for this guy. I mean, we don't really have much. We do have a 175 core, which will put this guy at what speed? Like 5'8", five, 5'7". Five, it's not too bad, I guess. I mean, it's going to be comparable to the uh, Hatchetman. But the damage output's going to be extremely low. So we're going to be relying completely on stealth. 
and being able to get in and fight. Um, yeah, we don't have Pharaoh. I mean, we don't have Endo. We used it. So maybe I trade the Pharaoh for Endo because the other guys have a lot of Endo. I mean, we don't need it right now because we don't really have the weapons to be able to completely outfit this guy the way I want. We do have a medium laser and an ER small, and that's it. So, um, where the hell is the ER small? Did I use it on another build? And where's the regular medium? I wonder if I've been using... I didn't check. Yeah, I probably used it on the uh, Royals. That's my bad. Well, not much I can do about it. But maybe I shouldn't worry too, too much about it. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, the interchanging of stuff is probably... Like, any mech parts I get, I should just give it to them. Right? So they should pick up the two pack hunter parts. Because we don't really have much, like I said. So maybe that's what... I don't know. I'll figure it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know you guys have been mentioning it, but maybe just let, let me know what you think and we can figure things out. Actually, let's get this validated and started. We're going to need the 175 core in there anyway. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. I know it's short, but uh, that's such is the yeah, life of a duelist. I'll get it in this <laughs> um, I'm sure later on, once we're up around fighting five skulls and stuff like that, it's going to be uh, a lot longer for the battles. But uh, anyway, end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.